Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and I am coming to you live from inside my house. That's right, we have a house here in Russian Fishing 4 that, honestly, I didn't even know about. I, I just discovered it. Uh, I found out we could come inside, and I've seen my, uh, my logo up there on the desk and stuff, and if we actually bring up the HUD, we can put stuff in here. We can put rods and reels in here, and we can put trophies, and we can even taxidermize fish and put them in here uh what was that was that the clock or was that a doorbell i have no idea what that was but let's get out of here and let's discuss why the title of this video says this is the best fishing game i ever played and i really think it is guys so compared to say fishing planet um I really don't think you can compare the angler to this. Um, I think that the closest thing you can compare this to is Fishing Planet. Um, but this is just, I feel a lot more realistic. There's a lot of stuff going on in here. Um, if you're looking for more of a fishing game that has a lot of RPG elements to it, um, if you're looking for a fishing game that is going to have you grind, but... The grind's going to feel rewarding, uh, and it doesn't, it doesn't really feel grindy, not yet anyways, then I kind of feel this is the game for you. So, when you get into the game, the first thing you definitely want to do is you always want to check out the cafe here, because this is your, your big time money maker. You go into here, and you can check and see what they want. So, for instance, five pieces of a rough mass from 20 grams so they have to be 20 grams or over uh you give them those five pieces 1756 uh jeez i mean this one here white bream six pieces 469 grams you get like 70 bucks this is definitely your money maker is in the cafe i would say the only issue with that is like i've never caught a rough i don't know how to catch them i don't know what they hit on white bream i don't know what they hit on common roach uh i do have those not that big. I haven't caught any roach over over a kilogram yet. They're all pretty small. Perch over 350 grams. That seems like a lot, but it's definitely doable. But yeah, this is where you want to check in. You want to check in. You want to see what they need, and this will tell you guys what to fish for. Now, of course, when you first start out, like I said, your knowledge is very limited in the game, and what you really want to do is you want to, you know, you want to get these up. So you start off with float fishing and spin fishing. Bottom fishing, I haven't figured out how to unlock this yet. Um, it says using a simple bottom rig. I don't know. It doesn't say anything about having to have a special rod, but I'm guessing we do, which kind of sucks, but it is what it is. I mean, technically in real life, you can bottom fish on any rod. Uh, if it's got line and reel, you can bottom fish on it. So why these fishing games continue to, to make you buy special reels to do some uh, special rods i'm sorry special rods to fish a certain way is really beyond me i mean if you're in the uk or europe or, or russia or, or wherever are you seriously telling me that you only bottom fish with a certain rod you buy a special rod just to bottom fish i mean to me that that's just absolutely crazy but when you float fish every fish you catch it puts a little bit into your skill we're at 15.1 percent here Spin fishing, 9.3%. So I can't even fish with a spoon yet because you have to be at 15% to be able to fish with a spoon. We can fish with spinner baits, jigging. You have to unlock all of this. Okay, so that's where I feel the game, it's grindy, but I feel like it's in a good way because you have to fish to grind for it. Now, one of the other issues that I feel with like Fishing Planet, for instance, if we go out of here. So we do have other places we can go. Now, they are locked behind levels, which doesn't necessarily bother me. And you do have to pay to get to them. But you can get unlimited access for real money. Again, kind of like Fishing Planet. Um, but if we take a look here, the prices to go to some of these places aren't too bad. I mean, they get a little higher as we go up into here. And as you can see, the, uh, the price for unlimited access also 
goes up. Now, Norwegian C. Oh, 40, okay, 98, 80, wow, okay. Uh, so, that's kind of something that we have to live with uh, with these free fishing games. Like I said, this is free to play, so I guess they have to make their money somewhere. Um, it is unfortunate, but again, you don't have to spend real money. You can use in-game money uh, for all this, and these are all the locations that they have right now. I will say, like, all the DLCs for locations are free. So that's pretty cool. I'm not mad at that. And if we take a look in the store here, the gear, the gear is also similar, I feel, to Fishing Planet price-wise. So if we just enter here, and it takes a little second here for it to load up. So as you can see, float fishing start, float fishing. Uh, do they actually have a bottom fishing, feeder fishing? Spinning Universal Start. What does this mean? Express, Express. Hmm. I don't know what these are, and I don't know if I can, like, bottom fish. With these, I'm, I'm not really sure how this works. But as you can see, the prices, they all go up. I mean... $45 for a float fishing starter, float fishing plus, uh, the rods. If we go down here, telescopic, 19, 40, 159, uh, 675. I mean, <laughs> 1300, 1400, over three grand. You know, so the prices are kind of similar, I think, to what we see in, uh, in Fishing Planet. But another thing is, once we go into the baits here, if we go into like crustaceans, Right, we can use crabs, but again, these gold pieces, this is real money. So you can only use these if you have real money, which again, I feel like that's the biggest issue with all these games. Again, I know they, they have to get their money somehow, um, but there's no other like options in here to get a bait, a crustacean bait, without them. And same goes for the bait fish. If we go in here, as you can see... These are all with gold coins, so this is all real money. Um, and it's kind of strange because the bait fish, these are like perch and rough and roach. Uh, you know, we only have like one lake minnow here, which is tiny. So yeah, you do have to spend some real money to get, you know, these things if, if you want to get into bait fishing, which again, like I said, mm, it... it it's a tough one, guys. It's a tough one because, like I said, I, I know that they have to, they have to make their money, and I do understand that. But uh, yeah, it it kind of is what it is. Now, another thing that I really enjoy about this game is the crafting. And now, if we go into the hardware store here, there's a lot that we can get. That I have no idea what you can do with it. But like, we have a shovel. This is where you can dig up worms and stuff like that. I don't have the money to buy this yet. I mean, we have a fishing tool. I don't know what this does. Uh, designed for cutting monofilm or braided fishing line leader material. Also used for crimping tubes for leaders. So I guess that's something that you can actually do in the game, I'm guessing. I don't see why you would have to buy this stuff, uh, you know, if you wouldn't have to. So spoon molds, frying pans, cooking pot, uh, cutting stamp for spinner baits. Yeah, because you can create your own lures in this game. Bait grinder, a wood carving knife, a fillet knife, scoop for blood worms, um, materials. We have matches and, and wood, and uh, I will show you guys that we have to light a campfire and we can cook. I mean, I really feel like if you're looking for an all-around kind of fishing experience that doesn't just 100% focus on the fishing, then this is just... A fantastic game for that because there's so much you can do in this game it's a uh, it's really overwhelming and like I said it doesn't really show you a whole hell of a lot <laughs> but uh we'll we'll just have to figure out figure it out as we go I guess so if we come over here this is the camp and you can use this this is a uh, brazier. What do we do here? So we can make shish kebabs, baked apples, salmon steak. Uh, I don't know where the hell we're going to get salmon at this spot. Uh, what is that? 
Oh, that must be something else. It keeps... Okay, that's your campfire. Smokehouse, we can we can smoke food, so let's uh let's start a fire. Cause we have matches and stuff. There we go. So if we go into crafting, I have a potato. So I can select that and I can make baked potatoes. <laughs> there we go. So, okay, discard backspace. So, we're going to say okay. There we go. So, I just made a baked potato. So, now I'm guessing that's probably in my inventory. So, if I go here. Uh, yes, we have a baked potato. So, now I can eat my baked potato. Succeeded. <laughs> I mean, how cool is that? That we can set up a campfire and we can actually cook ourselves some food while we fish. You know, speaking of that. In this game right off the bat because as you can see let's just go into oh here i'm only level nine i'm not i'm not really that far into this game um i've been putting some time into it i have over eight hours in the game already and i'm not progressing super fast which is fine with me so if we pull out this rod here and if you press and hold the left mouse button right you'll go to 90 percent but you can also overcast if you keep holding it and now if we press zero, we can put down a rod stand. And I didn't have to buy the rod stand. It was there. It was in, you know, it's not in my inventory or everything. It's just there for you to use. So actually, let's pick this back up. I have to adjust, adjust that a little bit. There we go. So now... If we had a bottom rod, which we don't, but we do have another uh, cane rod here. Oops. Wait, 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 wait. Crap, crap, crap. Okay, we can set that one out. Put that on a rod stand. We gotta... There we go. We gotta grab this fish in. So now we have two bobbers in the water. That, uh, an eyed. We're gonna let him go. So we have two bobbers in the water now. I have different bait on both of these. So now this here is a feature that I feel should just be basic in any fishing game. You know, the angler, we don't have it yet. And, you know, they talk about how it's difficult to implement these things. I mean, is it? <laughs> fishing Planet has it, albeit you have to buy it. And we didn't get it right away. I mean, this game, you don't even have to buy a rod stand. It's just there because it's part of fishing. Like anybody who fishes, this is how I fish. I'll either have a bobber or a bottom line in the water, you know, and I'll be casting. And we can do because we can have three rods out at the same time. So I can have both my bobbers in the water. And I can be casting the spinner bait, trying to pick up something on this pole while I'm watching my bobbers. And I can also put this pole down if I get a bite. Oop, there we go. Just set that down. And grab one of the other ones. Now a couple other things that I've noticed about this game. And uh, I don't... Wait, do I have a bite on that one? Yeah, I do. Hold on. So now another thing with this game that I love. Um, and it's in Fishing Planet 2 to be fair. So I'm not, you know... Don't get me wrong, but the line in the water moves so if the fish has it you'll see the line move when the fish has it but not just that if the wind is strong enough it'll blow your line and it'll move your bait and uh also before we stop before we shut the video off we will go to another spot and uh i'll show you guys something else that, that i like about the game which again <laughs> It's in Fishing Planet as well. But it's just done really well in this game, I feel. Oh, that's... It looked like... He... Yeah, yeah. Wow, we missed him. Okay, so let's pack up really quick. And let's move on to a, uh, a different lake. All right, guys. So now we're at Winding Rivulet. And this is actually a river. 
So this is a completely different different ball game fishing here. If we just go over here and I'll show you guys. So if we pull out this here and we cast it in the water, you can see that because it's a river, it has a current. So it actually comes up in the bottle screen, drifting with the current. Now I don't know how how well it would be to use a bobber here. Honestly, I would bobber fish in the current. Um, I would just cast like up current, let it float down, and then when it gets to to like this point, reel it back up, which I can't because this is a cane rod, and then cast back down that way, let it float down, and and fish will hit it. Now I don't know. Um, if that's something that can happen in this game, I imagine it is from everything I can see, it seems to be pretty damn realistic, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, like this is, these are things that the angler really lacks and it's just a common, like a core element of fishing that it should be in there. Right? Like if you're fishing in a, a fast moving stream you know, these lures are going to move. So even if I go into here, and if I cast, and you can overcast with this spinning gear as well. Nice. As you can see, again, that lure is moving with the current because it, it would in real life as well. So I'm sure the more I, I get into this game, the more I'm going to find uh, just more realism. I mean, there's so much you can do in here. You can float fish, you can bottom fish, you can fish with lures, you can fish with so many different lures, top waters, and I mean, there's techniques that you have to learn in jigging and boats, and you can troll with the boats. They have pole holders on the boats, and you can actually troll. I mean, I, I cannot wait to get that far in the game, but I feel like it's going to take... A very long time because like I said again I have like over eight hours in the game and float fishing I'm at 15.1 percent spin fishing 9.3 again like I said I can't even fish with anything other than spinner baits right now as you can see you have to unlock jigging uh fishing with a casting rod a bait caster fishing with a wobbler and a three-way rig and let's see conventional drop shots you have to unlock all of this taxi rig ah, taxi Texas rig wacky rig uh jerk bait you know, I mean, to use a jerkbait, you have to develop the skill to 90% just to use a jerkbait. So it's going to take a very long time to uh, to do any of that. I have a funny feeling. So before we go, I do want to go to a spot on this lake and try to catch a fish for you guys. So I'm going to wander on down to the spot. And I will catch up with you guys when we get there. All right, guys, so here we are at the camp on this lake, and this was a pretty good spot for me last night when I was playing the game. I mean, look at this. You have a lot of submerged wood. I mean, it just looks like the perfect spot. And again, we have a tent. We have a campfire. We can we can cook here. The only thing I kind of wish you could do, I kind of wish you could sleep in the game, but you can't do that as of yet, I guess. And also... If, uh, if you guys have made it this far and you are a console player, um, I'm, I'm not here to, to get up false hope or anything like that, but these developers have said that they're not against the idea of bringing this to console. Now, I don't know, you know, what the plans are with that. I don't know, you know, if that's something that they will do. This would be an amazing game on console. Oh, there we go. We got one. Oh, uh, we got one. Hopefully, I'm going to try to show you guys the, uh, the net, too, in this game. So now, oh, rig is cut off by fish teeth. Oh, guys, fish teeth. <laughs> okay. Man, uh, there's a fish. Okay, so, you know what, I think, I think we need to move to a different spot, guys, because, obviously there's, like, pike in there, I think, and I'm going to need something like a steel leader 
to just share because it keeps biting through the line, which I think that's absolutely genius that it tells you why you lost the fish, not just, oh, the fish broke off or whatever. Like, it literally tells you that, you know, it bit through the line. So, you know, it's it's something toothy out there. So we need to move on because I do know that there's asp here. I was catching them in a different spot. Um, it's funny because yesterday when I was in that camping spot, I, I wasn't catching anything toothy. Oh, this is the other spot I was at. This is a good one. Okay. Let's, let's try this spot. Now, hopefully we'll catch something. Whoa. Oh, see that guys that, you know what? That was perfect because that shows you that you can get a fish on the sink. While that lure is sinking, a fish will hit, and that is just awesome. I love that aspect of the game. I'm glad I managed to catch it on this video. You know, that's something, again, I feel that every fishing game needs. We are going to net this guy. I don't think we need to. But if I do that there, look down. There we go. And as you can see, we'll outstretch the net. There we go. And we got a very nice perch there. And another thing is the uh, the models. The fish models change depending on the size of the fish. So smaller perch look different than larger perch. And it's like that with all the fish species. And if you look at this one, it, no, it's not. Those are just the scales. And I got to say, oh, was that thunder? These fish models look really good. So we're going to release them to get the extra XP. Oh, that is thunder. I had not seen a storm in this game yet. Oh, and look at The wind's picking up. So I think this is actually the perfect time to get off the water, guys, because we do not want to be out here on an electrical storm. But those are just a couple of reasons why I think this is just the best fishing game I ever had. Uh, the fishing physics, the, uh, ooh, that, that was some lightning. The fishing physics, I mean, you can literally see the fish sometimes come up and hit your bait. I cannot wait to get into, like, top waters and stuff. I can't wait to see how they show the fish hitting a top water lure to see if they jump out of the water. Oh, man, I just, I'm really, really excited about this game. And the fact that it's a free-to-play game is just absolutely crazy to me. So, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And we'll see you next time.